All right, welcome to part six. So, it's time to go to the moon again. But this time we're gonna land on the moon with Corways here flying the Darlick Omega. So, we've made a few improvements since the last time, since uh, Jeb Floner. So, now in orbit and on our way to the moon, we've got everything going here except for one problem we are out of power can't get the lights on but Corways is happy look at him he's still smiling oh look like he just popped something in his mouth there probably eating some snacks all right so let's deploy our solar panels but there's no sun so we're gonna have to warp warp out to get some sunlight here the sun there we go sunlight but there's not enough power to uh, turn the solar panels around I'm, uh, I'm assuming oh blocked by the b9 engine b9 engine um, okay. B9 engine, huh? Hmm. I don't know what it's talking about, because that looks fine to me. Anyways, we'll throttle up and generate some power that way. Maybe they'll... No, they're still not moving. Okay. When in doubt, flip her about. <laughs> there we go. Powering back up. And now they they look like they're moving. Yeah, it no longer says it's blocked. Okay. So, that problem's easily corrected. Although, I should have put a couple batteries on her. That's, eh. Next flight. Next flight, we're going to make a note of that. Add batteries. Alright, so, we're almost there. Warp up to the uh, encounter marker. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. So we now need to get retrograde here and start burning to come into orbit. Uh, this is the easy, easy part here. Gonna come to the moon and Mina Minos as much as possible and get as much science out of these before we move on to other things. Although I will send some probes out. Check out the sun. Maybe go send a probe to Duna next. Already starting to work on building a uh, space shuttle. Or space plane. Probably more of a space plane. Alright. There we go. We're coming in. What's that doing way out there? Landed. Hmm. Okay. Don't know what that's doing out there. Alright, that's about good. Let's uh, circularize this. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Sometimes hunting for those marks on the uh, nav ball can be fun. There we go. I know there's a mod that's supposed to ghost those so you know at least which direction they're in. There we go. Of course, later on I'll have Mech Jeb and I can use the, there's a, uh, the smart ass and you can tell it, hey, set, set me to retrograde and it'll automatically lock you to retrograde or prograde, whatever grade you want. A, B, C, D, E, F. Wait, there's no E. Anyways, that'd be funny. Well, I, I got, didn't get a D, I didn't get an F though, I got an E. I was efficient. 
Okay. Like I said, I like having my orbits around 10 to 12. I think there's a chance of hitting a mountain at 10. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I think on some some places you got to be careful because if you're too low, yeah, you might not fall and hit the ground, but you'll uh, definitely smack into stuff. Although, could make for some great screenshots. Okay, where to land? Uh... Let's see. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that big crater to the uh, right or left. Left, right, whatever. We're heading to towards it. So we just gotta make a burn here. Uh, that should be good. So eventually we'll be setting up a colony and a space station around this later on in game. Maybe take one of these craters over. Put a big old city in there. Put like 20, 30 Kerbals there. Maybe build a uh, colony on one of the moons of Jewel. The one with the water. Anyways, there we go. Lined up. Oh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just need to be over that big crater. So, flying up. And that uh, looks about good. So now I just need a break. So we'll kill our velocity and then just drift down. So since we still got this uh, booster here, let's not be wasteful and just jettison everything because we want to save as much fuel as possible. Plus this thing will break us faster. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Corwise is... Look at him. He's a happy guy. Oh, he's a little... Light on them there. All right, looking good, looking good. Almost fully stopped there. And we'll just let the moon pull us down. All right, looking. Oh shit! Oh crap! I, I didn't time that right. Crap. Well, that didn't go well. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Maybe if we EVA and activate his rocket pack and. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh man! Oh boy! Um. Okay, that didn't go too well. Um. Okay, uh, his rocket pack is not functioning. Uh, Corwise, this is this is this is uh, HQ calling Corwise. Uh, hello, rocket pack, activate your rock. Your life signs are all. Oh boy! I. Uh, um. Crap, I think I think he's unconscious. He's not responding. Oh boy. Oh boy, this isn't good. I think he's he's moving a little too fast to survive. If I can't get this oh the keys are not responding. He is out of control. Oh no 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 This might be a come on, maybe maybe he'll survive. That yeah, rubber ball helmet of his. Ooh, he's gonna land on his feet. Wait, 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 maybe his head. Bounce, bounce! Oh. Well, he's definitely the first Kerbal on the moon. Rest in peace, my good friend. Alright, so. We're now launching our next vehicle. This time it's the Darlek Ultra. Helmed by. Um. I guess you'd call him Cambold. Cambold? So, uh. So we added a battery this time. Well, hmm. We don't want to make that same mistake again. So that's looking pretty good. And now, fast forwarded here for you and got us into a nice orbit. But. Where to land? That is the question. So, after deciding, consulting the charts, I decided let's let's do something even riskier. Let's land in those canyons. So, again, here we 
Start turning around. Got to make sure to break better. As you can see, I've added a, an array of solar panels at the bottom here, plus some batteries. Coming into the canyon. All right, all right. There we go. Fire it. Let's start slowing down here. Coming in at 600. It's not good. Not good at all. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. That's so beautiful. All right. Firing up. Getting some G's there. Okay. Come on. Come on. Hold her steady. Hold her steady. Both hands on the control sticks. Put the snacks down. He doesn't look too happy. I won't be too happy too since the last person just went smooshing into the ground and then being blasted across the uh, moonscape. Alright. I'm on. There we go. Push that, push that retrograde to the top. Once it's up at the top, we'll stop coasting. And we'll just go down. Uh, come on, come on. Anyways, we need to ditch this bottom part. It doesn't have landing gear. It served us well. Okay. Deployed. Okay, got our landing gear out. Got plenty of fuel. Engine activated. Since we're slowing down, the uh, booster's flying a little faster than we are. Falling faster. So we're about five, six hundred meters up. Uh, maybe seven. Eight, nine. Okay, about nine hundred meters up before we touch the ground. Okay. Oh, well, I think we should be okay this time. Coming in at twenty-seven meters per second. I mean, we're gonna slow down right, right before fire up the engine. Right before. There we go. Okay. Start killing that. It's a pretty good landing spot, actually. If it came down anywhere else, I think we'd be sliding down the slope or falling down the slope. All right, looking good, looking good. Campbell, put the snacks down. He's looking at all his controls. It's like we're so many blinking red lights I don't understand okay alright almost touching down alright whoa 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 it's oh oh alright stop stop moving <laughs> that's the thing there at least the Apollo program, they didn't like land and then it was sliding all over the place. Well, the Apollo module, uh, the lander, had uh, little probes that would stick in the ground. Probably to help it from, <laughs> from doing that. It would be pretty nice. Like I said, I would love to have a, like a, a system of uh, harpoons with little winches and stuff that would uh, keep you stable. Wish somebody would mod that. Boy, that would be awesome. Like, okay, I'm at, you know... 20, 20 meters, fire the harpoons, boom, 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 and just push the button and reels you down. Okay, time to do that science. Well, we already started doing that. Let's see here. Yep, this thing's sure yellow. The box, I mean. Okay, yeah, that'd be pretty bad if it was in the yellow. Ah, oh, dust everywhere. Need my space vacuum. Go with my space snacks and my space drink and my space suit for my spaceship okay you uh, assess the situation antenna up and running transmit okay 
Not a problem transmitting anything with all this uh, solar power. All right, let's see here. Yeah, don't decouple, please. Let's review data. Let's EVA. Get out. Take a report. Okay. Giant rock over there. Okay, let's start pulling all the data out of all our instruments here so we can take it back with us. In case re-entry burns them off. Always a possibility. Okay. I figure at this point in the game they're still using floppies or something. Floppy disks. These big five, five inch suckers. Alright, alright, whoa, whoa. Or big tape reels. Okay. Oh, he's a little excited there. Well, you're already pretty small, buddy. Hop, hop, hop. Boing, boing. There we go. What's he doing? What are you doing? Alright, let's see. Is it possible? There's this fractured in this location. Yeah, probably by some giant asteroid. Alright, time to plant that flag. We gotta get home. Type something interesting. That's not interesting. Come on, come on. First living Kerbal <laughs> is what I should have put. There we go. Good, good. Did the spaceship just move? Always worried it's going to be sliding away, like turn around. Where did it go? Oh, it's down the hill. There we go. That's excellent. First Kerbal on the moon and lived to tell the tale. We hope he made it back. We'll find out. Alright. Looks good. Push OK. Push OK. Okay. Hey. Let's get out of here. Jetpack on. Come on, come on. Grab grab the ladder. It's not that hard. Good, good job. Whoa, there we go. Alright. Go ahead and send off some of this data. Just in case something happens, we're going to be okay. So anything that's 100%, we're going to send off. Everything that's under 100, we're just going to take with us, so... There we go. Looks good. Everything's uploaded. We're ready to get out of here. Oh, the other uh, antenna came came out. Cool. I put two antennas just in case. All right, let's get out of here. Well, let's head 90 degrees. Whoa. Yeah, turn that on. Up, up, and away. Check out the view. I like it. Go ahead and take some more info. I didn't have it covered up, so we're all good there. Whoa! Kerbo view. So up we go. Throttle up. Create an orbit. That was a pretty good uh, 
trip there. Oh, there's there's our planet, home planet. This is really a great engine. I really like this engine. It's pretty efficient. Alright. Round and around we go, and away we go. Okay. We got 54 parts left. Alright, our pilot's actually pretty courageous. Alright. Let's get headed on back here. Retrograde. Start getting our periaps down to 40. 40,000 I like. A little under that's okay. Don't want to come in too fast. G-forces just kill everybody. Yeah. Let's see here. Coming in. Coming in. Ah, another nighttime landing. That's alright. Spin around here. Moon behind us. Okay, lined up. Let's start getting a little lower here. Huh? So, uh, seven, six. I'm actually going to burn the rest of our fuel to slow down as soon as we hit the atmosphere here. Alright, we just touched the atmosphere. Packed everything up, a, even though we're going to jettison the rest of this. So we're coming in at about two and a half kilometers a second, or basically a mile or so a second. Yeah, a mile a second would be nice to travel. All right, well, we're out of fuel, so there goes our engine section. Let's jettison that. We've got our heat shield ready. All right. Time to ride the fireball. Heat shield surviving pretty good. Everything looking good. Heat shield is fine. Got plenty of electrical power. Uh, we're only running like four or five lights, so. And our SAS is functioning. Heat shield's looking good. We're already cooling down. Let me just go ahead and turn those lights off. Jettison our heat shield. Jettison our Jiffy Pop top. All right, what we got going on here? Let's see. Okay, going through the clouds. Gonna time this just right so we're not waiting too long for, to land. Alright, not bad. We can survive a 5.8 meter per second landing. Fast forward, come on. Let's get you on the ground. Bam! Alright, we made it. We made it back from the moon. Excellent. And survived. With basically a ton of science ready to go. Okay, it looks like we've been here before, but we'll still grab as much science as possible. All right, good. Good land in there. Return landing site of the first moon landing. Campbell made it home. is first where it's home off to the all you can eat rib night yeah there we go forget the buffet it's all those ribs all right thanks for watching see you next time